Well, folks, it's about that time, and Danny asks, who would win in a fight, the OG Yonko or the Nine-Tailed Beast? Tail Beasts are very powerful creatures, but it's not like they're invincible. In fact, between all the Tail Beasts that are shown on screen, all of them have the exact same weakness. Tail Beasts and their Jinchurikis are weak to blunt force trauma and explosions. In fact, most, if not all of them, were defeated by bombs. Might as well say fire damage, because Four Tails also lost by getting struck by lightning. Six Tails Jinchuriki blown up by missiles. You get my point. Massive amounts of fire and blunt force trauma is the easiest way to take these things down. In fact, most of these beasts are taken down and sealed away by skill Jonin just using chains. And when above average Jonin level ninja can take down these tail beasts and seal them away for generations, makes you think that the Yonko wouldn't be able to put them down. Whitebeard bare minimum can shatter space and destroy the world with his quakes. Shanks is shown to be on par with him when he's not using his double fruit. Kaido and Big Mom definitely have the firepower between the two of them to take all of them on. Or you bring up these Biju bombs, because I know y'all will, there's nothing stopping Big Mom from giving it a soul and then turning it into her new weapon. Yeah, I definitely give this fight to the Yonkos.